Hey, what are some historical misconceptions that really annoy you? Trans and gender non-conforming people have existed for centuries. You just didn't hear about it because what was left of the history after colonization, the Nazis burned down. In around 1919, the Institute for the Science of Sex was set up in Germany by this guy, German physician and gay rights activist Magnus Hirschfeld. This place campaigned for LGBT plus rights, gave the first modern sex reassignment surgeries in the 1930s, and saw about 20k people per year, and poorer patients were treated for free, fun fact. This place was a private research institute and also had a very large library, part of which is shown here, which is a photo of the Nazis going through the documents and destroying them. The institute came to an end in 1933 when one night under the Nazi regime around 20,000 anti-German books were confiscated and burned in the streets, which you can sort of see here, and a lot of this content actually came from the Institute for the Science of Sex, so a lot of LGBT plus history was just destroyed. Hirschfeld attempted to set up the institute in France again, but unfortunately never. Hey, what are some historical misconceptions that really annoy you? Native American historian here. One of the really big ones that annoys me a lot is the misconception that Native Americans didn't have a concept of land ownership. I cannot tell you how often at times I hear this one. That one and the one that Native Americans didn't have writing. So number one, we did traditionally have concepts of land ownership. However, land was owned communally and tribally, not individually with the exception of a few tribes in the Pacific Northwest. Like, if you went on to another tribe's land, there would be trouble. And for the writing, it went down in European history that natives didn't have a system of writing because it wasn't writing that Europeans recognized as writing. And also because the Spanish burned a lot of Native American texts. We had both concepts of land ownership and writing pre-European colonization. What are some historical misconceptions that really annoy you? Common fashion history misconception about the flapper dress. This is sometimes used as like a catch-all term for 1920s fashion. All of these dresses are in museums and called flapper dresses. However, I am currently co-curating an exhibition featuring similar 1920s dresses, but I would not use that term. Here's why. Real 1920s flappers were rebellious, working-class young women who were actually severely scrutinized for the way that they dressed cut their hair, did their makeup, and for their behavior including drinking, smoking, promiscuity, and dancing to jazz music which there were heinously racist criticisms of. It's undeniable that the flapper became a pop culture figure but relatively few women actually identified that way. So the dresses I showed earlier are simply mainstream fashionable 1920s dresses. They are not necessarily associated with flappers in any way and in fact a flapper possibly couldn't afford them. Hey, what are some historical misconceptions that really annoy you? People use the Bible to ex uh, explain their homophobia. Most passages people recite uh, are just really talking about uh, molestation, pedophilia. It comes from like translation errors because the Bible was written in ancient Hebrew. Obviously in different languages, there's different ideas and concepts that don't really translate the best or can be easily mistaken. People are talking about homosexuality being in the Bible. They're referring to this word right here, but it does not translate to homosexual. It translates to boy lover, meaning pedophile. For example, in Leviticus 18.22, it says, Man shall not lie with man, for it is an abomination. Look at Bibles translated from ancient Hebrew to German. It says, Man shall not lie with young boys as he does with a woman, for it is an abomination. The reason a lot of Americans think homosexuality is a sin is because American translators fucked up. They intentionally did it to oppress uh, gay people. So if your homophobic grandparents um, tell you that being gay is a sin, tell them about this. So yeah, it's just translation error. Hey, what are some historical misconceptions that really annoy you? Um, F. Scott Fitzgerald actually stole a lot of his writing from his wife. Abraham Lincoln actually did not care about slaves. He just wanted to win the vote. So he said whatever the majority would have said. Thomas Edison did not invent the light bulb. If Alexander Graham Bell were in charge, instead of saying hello on the phone, we'd be saying ahoy. Cleopatra actually lived closer to the moon landing than the building of, like, the pyramids or whatever. And she also invented instant champagne. If anybody's wondering, she would put pearls, which is basically calcium carbonate, in her drinks and it would make it fizzy and, yeah, boom, champagne. Jesus actually wasn't born on December 25th. Jesus was born between spring and fall. It's just that on December 25th, St. Nick would give out gifts because in the back... In the back, in the old times, um, December 17th to the 25th was the gift-giving time, like family time. In the Middle Ages, people actually lived to their 60s, not their 30s. Hey, what are some historical misconceptions that really annoy you? Jesus was likely born in the year 4 CE in March, given actual records we have from the Roman Empire.
The Salem Witch Trials resulted in the death of 20 people, 19 of which were hanged and one was crushed, but none of which were burned at the stake. Columbus was not the first European to land in the Americas, and he never actually landed in what we presently call America. Shakespeare only ever wrote one original play. Napoleon was only rumored short because of British propaganda. The moon landing could not have been faked given technological restrictions of 1969. The Black Plague was brought into Europe from the Mongols. JFK technically started the Cuban Missile Crisis. The Emancipation Proclamation only freed slaves who were in slave states in the Union. The pyramids in Egypt were not built by Jewish slaves. Beethoven was not black, and Benjamin Franklin did not discover electricity. The Pilgrims were not the first Europeans to permanently settle in the United States. Thomas Edison did not invent the light bulb. Hey, what are some historical misconceptions that really annoy you? Uh, a bunch of people asked for a second part, so here we go. Medieval knight armor was not clunky and difficult to maneuver in. That would destroy the whole point. George Washington Carver did not invent peanut butter. Marie Antoinette was actually a very generous person and never said, let them eat cake. It is possible to invade Russia in winter. The Mongols did it. The assertion that the Wright brothers were the first men to fly is incorrect because hot air balloons have existed since the late 18th century. Classical Roman and Greek sculpture was actually painted with vibrant colors, but the pigment has faded, thus making it white. George Washington's dentures were not made out of wood, but instead were made out of hippopotamus teeth, ivory, donkey's teeth, gold, and purchased slaves' teeth. The signing of the Declaration of Independence occurred on August 2nd, 1776. It was approved on July 4th. Hey, what are some historical misconceptions that really annoy you? Albert Einstein never failed math. The Great Wall of China is not visible from space because it is simply too thin. FDR was likely a paraplegic from gillian barra syndrome and not polio given his age. The infamous War of the Worlds broadcast of the 1930s never occurred at the scale that news outlets said that it did. Essentially, it was a reading of Orson Welles' War of the Worlds, and it was said that many people thought the world was actually being invaded by aliens. Pterosaurs, like Pterodactyl and Pteranodon, are not dinosaurs, they are pterosaurs. The Great Chicago Fire of 1871 was not caused by Miss O'Leary's cow kicking over a lantern. Cinco de Mayo is not Mexican Independence Day. The Americanization of names at Ellis Island did not occur because there was not strict record keeping of people who came into Ellis Island. Therefore, there was no way to botch the names. Vietnam veterans were not spit on by anti-war protesters on returning home. Hey, what are some historical misconceptions that really annoy you? Uh, that Roman Britain was predominantly white. It wasn't. We have found so many uh, burials of mixed race people from the Roman times. Uh, it just shows it's amazing. Hey, what are some historical misconceptions that really annoy you? The idea that cowboys are straight white men. I'm gonna break a lot of hearts on redneck uh, TikTok. Cowboys were gay. Really fucking gay. <laughs> or bisexual. Kind of the same idea as the Romans. Hang out with your buddies. Closer to them than you are your own wife. A little magic happens, you know. Brokeback Mountain gets about 50-50 right on there. Because the other half of it is that cowboys weren't really white. Black men, Hispanic men, and native men were mostly cowboys. Not saying there weren't white men, I'm just saying. Yeah, so dressing like a cowboy and being racist and homophobic really doesn't make sense. That's actual, uh, cultural appropriation, may I say? What do I know? I'm not a cowboy. Hey, what are some historical misconceptions that really annoy you? Vikings weren't any more prone to heinous acts than anyone else at the time, really. They just did it to Christians, instead of Christians doing it to others. Hey, what are some historical misconceptions that really annoy you? The way colonization is taught in New Zealand schools. It is absolutely infuriating hearing a white teacher from a white um, perspective try to teach colonization in a good way. A good way. Colonization decimated all indigenous forms of cultures. If it's New Zealand, Australia, Canada, um, Hawaii, it just decimated all in native and indigenous teachers and qualities. And I'm not just talking about initial contact with the native peoples. I'm talking about something that happened decades later, like the 1984 Kohanga Suppression Act. That act completely suppressed Māori teachings and Māori beliefs, just so the church could have full power over the nation. 
as someone who loves history and loves those kind of things and historical events, as an indigenous person, it's absolutely infuriating to hear people praise it when it killed my culture and it's continuing to. Hey, what are some historical misconceptions that really annoy you? The Library of Alexandria never burned to the ground. Ever. Oh sure, it burned when Julius Caesar set Alexandria on fire, but the librarians got all of the important scrolls out before the fire got to the library. And even if it had burned down, every town in Rome had a library. Every town. Basically, once Alexandria became part of the Roman Empire, it wasn't considered special anymore and its influence diminished, including the library.